What's up you guys, my name is Marlon and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys once again for tuning in. If you're watching this video, there's probably about a 95% chance that you're not subscribed. So if you haven't done so, please make sure to do so. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Also, please make sure to leave a like, comment, share, as it always makes a massive difference. So a couple of months ago, I started on this channel a how-to series to show you guys how I rock certain items in my wardrobe. The first episode was on flannels. If you haven't seen it, you can watch it right here. So I thought for episode two, we could talk about puffer jackets. It's the winter time, so I think the timing is perfect. Personally, I started rocking puffer jackets about two years ago, and I really haven't looked back since. What I love about puffer jackets is that they're comfortable, versatile, and they're trendy right now. So it's pretty easy to wear. So in today's episode, we have a lot to talk about. You know, that's why I got comfortable in my chair, but I really encourage you guys to watch the video in its entirety because I'm gonna be bringing up different points, including the different types of puffer jackets, where to find them, how to rock them depending on your height and size and overall body shape and then finally how i personally style the puffer jackets so without further ado let's get into the intro and get started okay so let's get into the different types of puffer jackets that you can find first one is the most popular one that you see everywhere is just a regular puffer jacket so it's proportionate it's usually made of some type of nylon but there's also different types of material but it's usually the one that you see everywhere it can come from different brands you see it more in like the streetwear so you see people wearing them with some type of cargo pants uh, some skinny jeans or just looser cut jeans also you see a lot of people wearing them with like some type of sweatpants more on some like cozy vibe it's really versatile very easy to wear and that's why most people wear them then the second type is the long line puffers so those you see them in the same type of environment as the regular puffer jackets so street style cozy you know that type of vibe then we have the lightweight puffer jacket so those are not going to be as prevalent in the winter well i guess depending on where you live you might be able to wear it but usually you can find them more in like the in the areas that are a bit warmer or you know if it's a colder area you're going to find them more like in the spring usually i think people tend to stick to skinny jeans with them because they're lightweight so they're slimmer personally that's what i would do and then for the women there's actually the cropped puffer jackets so we see them mostly on women and i think they look great on them but you know depending on how you dress as a dude you could actually probably rock a cropped puffer jacket you know um now they're harder to find because a lot of brands don't make them for men but you can definitely look around some people say you should look in the women's section i personally have never bought a cropped puffer jacket but to be honest i'd be down to try because uh, it gives you great options. What I like about crop puffer jackets is that they kind of gives you like a more sophisticated look. So you can wear them with like pants that, are, that you would wear, you know, with a suit or some boots. Like I said, I haven't tried it yet, but it is something I do plan on trying. Personally, I feel like I stick more to just the regular size puffer. I do have a long line puffer as well, which I will show you guys. Another good thing about puffer jackets in general is that you can find different types of material. Most of them are made of nylon, but you can also find puffers made of corduroy, for example. I think those are really dope, whether it's in the regular size or the long line. Uh, they make really good corduroy puffer jackets, so you should definitely look into them. Personally, I'm really happy with my collection. The one that I'm missing right now, I would say is the one from the Nocta drop from Nike. That yellow one is fire. I really want it, but the resale value is way too high, so I don't think I'll be able to get it anytime soon, but a man can dream. So now the question is, where do you find these different types of puffer jackets? So let's go down the list. So for the regular size puffer jackets, I have my phone because there's a bunch of brands I want to mention but uh, you can usually find them at stores like zara zara makes really good puffer jackets pretty high quality now it's going to run you a bit more than some other brands that i will mention but uh, yeah zara definitely makes quality then we have uniqlo i think uniqlo is a great store for that you know you really get your bang for your buck obviously they're not going to be cheap but the quality is really good on them so you really get what you pay for another store that makes really good puffer jackets is boohoo overall they do a great job of making coats that are affordable but still decent quality then there's also Shein so I actually copped a puffer jacket from them which I will show you it's not as warm as some other ones that I have but still really good I've had it for about a year holds up really well so I would recommend Shein then we have obviously the staple North Face that's the one I see the most now obviously North Face is going to run you more uh, usually they're around like at least in Canada they're around like 420 425 but Man, listen, North Face is great quality and they have so many different options, so many different colors. I actually just bought one recently for my birthday and I got the all black colorway, but they have purple, blue, yellow, red. I mean, I mean, I don't have to talk about North Face too much. You guys know about them, but uh, another brand that makes really good puffer jackets is Nike. Even the regular black puffer jacket that Nike has is really good. Another brand that I really like uh, is Topman and that's actually where I found my corduroy puffer jackets. When it comes to long line puffers, um, brands like Boohoo, Zara, 
Canada Goose also makes good long line puffers, but they will cost you. That's for sure. For 30% of women that might watch this video, uh, I would definitely recommend Aritzia. Aritzia is a really good brand. Now, the coats are more expensive, but really good quality from what I've heard. And then finally, unique look. For lightweight jackets, you can really find them anywhere, so I'm not gonna mention specific brands, but uh, just refer to the ones that I mentioned uh, earlier. And finally, for the crop puffers, Zara makes some really good ones. Another one that I didn't know about, but that I actually found out through my cousin, so shout out to him. He also makes YouTube videos if you wanna check him out. He does speak French though, so if you don't speak French, it might be a bit more difficult to follow, but still shout out to him. He makes great sneaker videos, fashion and all that. So yeah, definitely check him out. Another brand that I would definitely have to try is called Maison Carica. I have to look at the price range, but I checked it out. It's in like the $200 range, so it's not too, too bad. And it looks like they make good quality clothes and they kind of give you that, that cropped look a little bit. So I'm gonna look into them for sure. And I really like the colors that they have. I, I you know, I saw some, some pink, some yellow on there. So yeah, we'll see. I don't know about the quality. I'm gonna ask him more questions, but uh, it, you know, it's definitely something you could try for sure. So now let's talk about what to wear depending on your height and size, because it's gonna be different for everyone. So for guys that are like just the average height, so we'll say five, seven to 510 you can pretty much rock anything uh so you know regular size puffers those are gonna look good you can go with the uh, lightweight puffers if you're gonna go with the long line puffers i would stay away from the ones that, are, that go below your knees because they might make you look a bit shorter and stubby so i would probably stick to like the regular or the lightweight but you can go with the long lines it depends on what you get now the way i would pair them for you guys is uh, you guys can go with like cargo pants or like a looser fit or you can go with jeans like on the skinnier side either way it's going to be fine because overall you guys are average height so it's going to look proportionate you know so you should be fine now if you're more on the plus side i would you know look into like the lightweight because it's going to make you look slimmer if you still want to go for the puffier looks then definitely, you know, maybe wear some cargo pants to kind of balance it out just to make sure that, you know, you don't look too round on the top and then the bottom is like a bit slimmer. At the end of the day, you want it to be proportionate. So that's why, you know, if you're going to go with like the perfume looks, go with something that's a bit looser on the bottom as well. Now for my shorter guys, so five, six and below, it's a bit trickier for you guys. So if you're on the skinny side, you can wear the regular size puffers because they're going to give you more of a shape. You can also wear the lightweight ones, obviously. In this case, you can wear any type of pants. It's not going to be much of a difference i would definitely stay away from the long line puffers because they will make you look even shorter and stubbier so for my plus size shorter guys stay away from long line puffers because same thing as the skinnier guys it, it's just gonna make you look short and stubby but i would also stay away from the extra fluffy and puffy uh, puffer jackets because it's gonna make you look very round on the top. I would probably stick more to like a lighter weight puffer jacket, but if you still wanna go with like the puffier option, then same thing as the average height guys, definitely wear something that's a bit looser on the bottom to kind of balance it out. I think for you guys, the most optimal look would be like a slimmer look. I know it sucks, obviously, but the extra puffy ones will make you look rounder you know which is not necessarily what you want if you're already plus size it's up to you obviously you know just uh, some advice but that's what i would say now for the taller guys it's much easier so we're talking about guys 5 11 and up you guys are pretty lucky in this sense now if you're a skinny tall guy so you know like you, you have a very really straight look uh you can wear whatever but i would stay away from the long line puffers because you're gonna make you look super long you know and i don't think it's gonna give you a very flattering look because you're already skinny so Stick to the, the regular size puffer. You can go with the puffy looks because it's, once again, it's gonna give you like a, a more round look. So it's gonna give you more shape. You can also wear the lightweight puffers that are just regular size. However, you guys are actually the ones that probably look the best in cropped puffers because of the fact that you have, you know, probably long legs. The cropped look is gonna give you more of a shorter look, but not in a bad way because you're tall anyways. For some reason, the guys that I've seen that are like tall and skinny, they look really good with the crop puffers. Kind of makes you look like a model, you know? So really dope. You guys should really look into that. Now, when it comes to the average size tall guy, you guys really get to pick up the litter, honestly. Congratulations, you won. I mean, you can wear whatever. Anything is gonna look good. In that sense, it really makes it easy for you guys. I'm not gonna give too much advice. You guys can really rock whatever you want. So that's pretty dope. Now, when it comes to the plus size guys, you guys can actually go with the long line puffers because it's gonna elongate you guys, which is nice. You can also go with the just the regular size puffer because you're taller, so you're not gonna look as round as someone that's shorter and you can go with the lightweight. So you guys are also pretty lucky in that sense. Okay, so lastly, I'm gonna show you guys how I personally style the puffer jackets that I have. I have five different ones in my collection. So I'm gonna show you guys basically how I put it together. And we're gonna start with the fit number one. It's the corduroy puffer jacket that I have from Topman. It's very puffy. So what I did in this case is I added a thick turtleneck from H&M underneath. I went with some trousers from Uniqlo, which are also dope because they're a bit looser as well. So even though the coat is extra fluffy, 
doesn't look as bad then i went with some boots the reason why i went with this look is because the corduroy kind of makes the puffer jacket look a bit more sophisticated so you can kind of dress it up a bit which i like then i just added a little posh from uniqlo and i completed the look second look is the puffer jacket that i have from shein for this one i really go on the streetwear side so i went with just a regular graphic tee added an over shirt from zara graphic tees from boohoo by the way then i went with some joggers from boohoo as well added a pair of sneakers some new balances just simple look this is something i would probably wear more around like the months of like march or april where the weather is a bit warmer i can still wear a coat but it's not too cold you know third look is the long line puffer that i have from boohoo when i wear my long line puffer i like to go on some cozy vibes for some reason i just like to be comfortable obviously i could also go with like the streetwear look with the long line puffer but it's just a personal preference so what i did is i went with a hoodie from boohoo I added some sweatpants from Boohoo as well, my hospital blue Yeezys, something simple, something comfortable. I just put the coat on top of it and I'm good to go. For look number four, I went with my orange puffer from Fashion Nova. So that's actually the first puffer that I copped, but I really like it. You know, I get a lot of compliments from it because you don't see a lot of people wearing a bright orange puffer. So in this case, I really let the coat do the talking. I don't really do too much with the rest of the outfit. Just a regular black tee from Boohoo. Then I went with some cargo pants from Boohoo as well. Added a pair of gray Oswegos. And uh, you know, I just, like I said, I just let the coat make the outfit really. And then I just added my pouch. And lastly, I went with my North Face puffer. So right now, this is definitely my favorite coat. I just got it, it's the latest one that I got, but it's so nice guys. In terms of proportion, it's perfect. It's puffy, but not too puffy. So what I did is I added just a regular tee from Boohoo. Then I added a flannel from Shein, some cargo pants from Boohoo, my Nike Air Force One Gore-Tex, and then I have the puffer jacket. For the longest, I wanted like a regular size all black puffer because, you know, it's it's the easiest one to wear. So it gives me a lot of options. So that's why, you know, I was able to go more on like the colorful side for the outfit. And then I just added the coat on top of it. it Looks great. So let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite uh, outfit, by the way? Let me know. I personally think it's this one but uh, you guys will let me know. So guys, if you made it this far, thank you guys so much for rocking with me. If you did, please just comment the gang gang so I know who's, you know, who's the real one. Uh, but anyways, that's it for me guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you can, leave a like, comment, share. It makes a massive difference, like I've said earlier. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you found it informative. I would really love making these types of videos. I love talking about fashion, so you know, it's always fun for me. But uh, anyways, that's it for me, man. So thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. My name is Marlon and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.